We had an exciting opportunity to examine a deep sea squid from a part of New Zealand that we don't see a lot of deep sea material from, at least in terms of cephalopods. There's not a lot of fishing activity there, so it's less well sampled than some places. Uh, and it was quite a large one, so it turned out that in fact it was the largest known specimen of that species to date. And it was from quite an interesting region near Whakaare White Island, which of course erupted recently, so that raised some interesting questions as well. It was given a name in 2019, that name is Tinningia fimbria, and fimbria refers to the fact that around the aperture of the funnel or the opening of the siphon, it has these little finger-like projections or a fringe. Because this was quite an unusual specimen for us to examine, we wanted to be very thorough and get as many different angles on trying to understand its biology as possible. So we did a very thorough external examination to see, for example, whether it had made it or not. We wanted to examine the insides to see what that would tell us about perhaps whether it had been eating anything recently and anything else that we were able to come across on the day. During the dissection, we took samples from a range of organs and a range of other samples. So what we'll do over the next few weeks and months is uh, prepare all these samples through preservation methods um, and also some through freezing for genetic samples so that they live in the collections for the next few hundred years. I was really surprised by the size of the different organs, but particularly finding out that squid have three hearts. That was uh, news to me, um, but really interesting. There's a whole lot about their biology that we don't know. We don't really know anything about the diet. We don't know about the kind of egg mass they might produce. Uh, we don't really know anything about the lifespan. We have some educated guesses. Um, and there were some actually some mysteries uh, that this one threw up as well. One fascinating thing about it seems to be that in order to implant the packets of sperm that the female will later use to fertilize the eggs, the males make a specialized cut in the soft tissue of the female and inside that wound they will implant the sperm packets. And the actual mechanism then of fertilization when the eggs are way up at the pointy end of the mantle and the sperm are down near the head and sort of lodged in the tissues is unknown. This is not necessarily a rare animal in the oceans, but certainly a rare one to get to examine. And any deep sea squid is always fascinating. It's always another piece of the puzzle and always provides an opportunity to understand just that little bit more about these deep sea ecosystems that are so remote and so fascinating. It's really great to work on kind of this collaborative project with a whole bunch of the institutions to make sure not only um, are we sharing the dissection and the research and the knowledge, but also that um, the research can be um, carried out throughout the world.